I'm in the beginning stages of enlarging my kitchen somehow. And part of that means potentially having a bump out and enlarging the kitchen itself. I'm curious as to how that would look from the outside of the house. So I'm going to make a model of my house as it is now in SketchUp, and then I can update it in the future with potential designs. All right, so before I even get into SketchUp, to make this process a lot easier, I've gone around taking pictures of the exterior of my house, and then I've also sketched it so I have an easy place to mark down all the needed measurements. We not only need to measure the size of the house and the size of the windows and the size of the doors, the length and the width of those, but we also need to measure how far these things come off the ground and how far they are from the edge of the house so that we can place them correctly on the model of the house in SketchUp. Final step before getting into SketchUp is to go out and actually make the measurements. I happen to be using feet and inches. All right, I'm gonna start off. You can see in the far left-hand corner, I have the arrow tool, and I click on this lady. I don't need her, I'm gonna press delete. Another important tool is this bottom tool. Uh, it helps you rotate around and see different things. We have the rectangle tool for drawing rectangles. The tape measure tool is really great for drawing guidelines. And then finally, we have the pencil. So let's start with the foundation of my house, a rectangle. So click on the origin of our coordinate system, let go, and then pull the rectangle over. Notice in the lower right hand corner of the screen, there's a dimensions box telling you how big the rectangle is. My house happens to be 30 feet long by 24 feet wide. So I type in 30 apostrophe, for, which is an abbreviation for feet, comma, 24 apostrophe, and then I hit enter. Then SketchUp finishes drawing the rectangle for me. I can use my rotate tool, and if I hold shift while I'm on the rotate tool, I can also pan my view. Let's verify the measurements. Click on the measuring tape and click the dimension tool. Click on the line so it becomes blue, and then pull and click. And you can see that my house is 30 feet by 24 feet. Now, Let's make this rectangle three-dimensional using the push-pull tool. Grab the push-pull tool, click on the surface, let go, and then pull it up. Now I want it to go up a specific measurement, so I start typing eight apostrophe. That means eight feet, hit enter. You will see that it grows then to eight feet in height. All right, now let's add windows and doors to this main floor of my house. We're gonna use this measuring tape tool, and we use it to draw guidelines so that we can position the windows and doors in the correct spots. This tool operates the same way or similarly to the other ones. We're going to click on an edge, move in the direction we want the parallel line guideline to be, let go, type in the distance that you want it to be. We can even make guidelines parallel to other guidelines. Click on it, let go, move it over, in the direction you want it to be, type in the distance, in this case four feet, and then hit enter. Click on the line, let go, pull it over in the direction you want. This time I want 28 inches, type it, hit enter. This is a super useful skill to have to be able to make precise measurements here in SketchUp. Being able to click on the tool, let go, move it in the direction you want, type in the distance you want, in this case it was 40 inches. All right, so now I know how far apart the windows are. Now I can measure down the height of the windows. When you have all four sides of a window uh, marked with the guidelines, use the rectangle tool, click on a corner, let go, and then click on the other corner, and that will draw the rectangle that will make the window. If you ever find that you're using the wrong tool and you've started using it and you're kind of connected, you can use the escape key to stop whatever operation you're doing, or you can just click and then use control Z or command Z, depending on if your windows are Apple, and undo the last step that you made. Now these guidelines you're using should be matching up with all the measurements that you took and wrote down. So on this window, I measured from the right edge of the house. I make a guideline coming from the right side of the house.
Now you're probably wondering, I got way too many guidelines on here. It's ugly. How do I get rid of them? So you come over to the right hand side, you click on the glasses, which are the display options, and you can get rid of all of them by clicking delete all guides. All right, I'm going to decorate up these windows a little bit with their frames. They're about a three inch frame all the way around the windows. And now use your turning tool, your rotate tool, to come onto the other side of the house. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but there's some little differences that I want you to pay attention to. First part's pretty much the same. I'm going to make a guideline for the bottom of the windows on this side of the house. So I click on the line, I let go, I moved it up a little bit, and I started typing the distance vertically I wanted it to move, and I hit enter. Do the same thing for the height of the windows. These windows are centered along the side of the house. So I'm going to use a guideline. I'm going to click on the right hand side of the house, let go, move it in the direction towards the center, but move my tape measure up to the top edge of the house and you'll see that it turns into a blue dot. At that point, that blue dot tells you that that is the middle of the house and if I click there, I will now have a guideline in the direct center of the house. Now I can measure from either side of that center line and find the position of my windows. All right, so I'm gonna speed things up here. Hopefully you can tell by now that I'm using the same few tools over and over in the same method based on all the measurements I'd taken already. I use the guidelines to tell me how far things are over. I establish the length and the width of the windows or the doors and then go back with a rectangle tool and then draw the shape. All right, so I'm gonna stop here on this first floor. Uh, if you want to challenge, see if you can figure out how to decorate the house so that the walls look like they have actual siding on them, how the windows can actually have co the correct color trim, etc. In part two, I will show you how to add the decorations and I will also show how I put on a roof 